My name is Marvin Morgan. I'm a sophomore at Penn, class of 2021, and I'm an astrophysics major. Outside of school and track, I play a lot of video games. I love Call of Duty, Madden. I like hanging out with friends, watching other sports. I also like to learn how to code. This summer has been helping me learn how to code a lot. I've been on the track team since I got here at Penn. I'm a two-time Ivy League champion. I've won the 60-meter dash and the 100-meter dash, and I'm also um, a school record holder in the 60-meter dash. So when I was a child, my uncle actually worked for NASA. So I was always fascinated with outer space. Like, that's all I wanted to do. When I was like six or seven years old, we took a trip to Disney World, and he actually lived in Cocoa, Florida, and he worked on the space shuttles. So I remember going and visiting the Kennedy Space Station and actually being able to like see the rockets, see the production that was happening at the Kennedy Space Station. And it definitely made me fall in love. Like, wow, like this is like something I'd actually want to do when I get older. And from there, that like sparked everything. I came to Penn and um, I like fell in love with physics. Actually being here and taking classes in astrophysics made me really fall in love with it and develop a deeper passion for it. This summer, I'm actually working in Professor Sanderson's lab. I import data from a space telescope called Gaia, and I use that data to pretty much show how much dark matter is distributed in the Milky Way and to show and prove that dark matter is actually within our galaxy. So it's like a bridge between learning what I did in the classroom and actually applying it in real life and using like an actual space telescope to see what I'm doing. Astrophysics matters to me because one, it's really cool, but two, there's a lot of technology and resources that come with it. For example, during the space race, we were able to develop a lot of satellite technology. Everything we use uses satellite technology. We're constantly developing it and increasing the workload of how many satellites we actually use. Astrophysics, there's always something new just because of the vast size of the universe and how much we don't know. So there's always room to like learn something new or find something out that has never been discovered before. <laughs>